Hi. Today, I'm predicting BGL CS2 Major Copenhagen 2024 Europe RMRB qualifier. We are going to do the same thing as the last week. We are kind of doing this tier list, who is going to be qualified, who is going to last chance qualifiers, and who is going to airport. Uh, this week, we got a few surprises, like Falcons going home, million dollar team and still can't win games. What a shame. But let's focus on next week's games. This uh, group is going to be much more interesting, kinda, because there is so much more like top level teams competing on those major spots. So let's start. First, we are going to talk about Apex. This is kind of tricky because uh, they are a team that never give up. They are fighting for the last rounds and they showed on IM Katowice that they can be very competitive, competitive uh, against the high level teams. And when I was thinking who is going to be qualified or who is going to be on a team that don't qualify for the major, I'm like in between with Apex. But I'm going to say that they are going to be qualified because they have time to train and they can play on a high level as a team. Next one, Astralis. After catastrophe of IM Katowice. I think this is going to be their revenge event and Australis is a brand that needs to be on a major to get that sticker money and be presented as a top level team with that lineup with Chappie and Stone coming from Heroic to Astralis. I have to say they're going to be qualified because they have had time to train more and I believe that now they are on that level that way where they need to be. Next one, Cloud9. Even with the problems that they have, I believe that material that they have in their lineup is going to be that good that they are going to be qualified, I think. And we can change those opinions as we go through this tier list. But now I think they're going to be qualified. Next one is uh, Ecstatic Danish roster with good potential. But I think they are not going to be qualified at first. At this RMRB, I believe they are going to be spot. The last chance qualifier is going to be a spot for them, at least because they have played well recently. So they are going there. Next one is Ens. I think Ens showed us all what they can do on the server uh, at IM Katowice. They played well, and I think that in their roster. They have so great team spirit and Clave proved again that he can be top level IGL. And that's why I'm gonna put them to be qualified section. Next one is Gamer Legion. Uh, this is a bit tricky because sometimes they look kind of good and next match they can be so like out of the server. But uh, at their level, what they are right now, I believe they are not getting a direct spot to major, but they are going to be last chance qualifier for them. <coughs> Sorry. Next one is Quilt Eagles. Ah, uh, I don't see them 
be qualified or even going to last chance qualifier because their form recently haven't been the best and of course their lineup have some good names from the past but with this new CS2 update and the just teams that they are against the competition is too hard for them on this tournament so I'm gonna say they are first team at this tier list that is going to home or airport as I say here next one heroic uh, they played well also in IM Katowice I believe that they have the level that they need to be to be qualified in the major they have a good hype on their lineup and like pieces is going to their places in a good time so I believe we believe heroic is going to qualify next up is vitality number two team on in the world right now after a devastating uh, IEM Katowice performance on their side but just that lineup that they have and the talent with the Saivu and players like that they need to be quali uh, to be qualified to the major and also their last major winners so I believe we believe their level is that high they will be qualified to the major and if not that will be like the biggest disappointment for many people next one one of the contenders to win the major spirit what i need to say with the dong and shiro and the whole lineup that they have that they have it's just crazy good i I don't believe we believe that no one on this qualifier will match them with the talent and also their map pool and uh, like tactic side is so good that there is no chance that spirit will be eliminated at this spot of the major so they will be qualified so now we have one spot for direct qualification and one spot uh, actually uh, yeah one spot at the last chance qualifier and lots of teams is going to be end up in the airport so next we have a uh, breezy with the Dupree five time major champion uh, they have played well recently of course they have lost some uh, matches against the like a same level team what they are right now but uh, uh, I believe we believe they're not going to be qualified directly but they will get the last spot of last chance qualifier they have a quite okay map pool so I think they're going to be tight matches when they're playing against good or like the lower uh, much more more lower lower level teams but yeah they're going to be last chance qualifier for them next one we have para with the all accusations of cheating uh, on closed qualifiers uh, on the like not the arena or stage but on a LAN environment, I just don't believe we believe that there are going to be great matchups on their side against the better teams. So they are going to be airport plays for them. Next one we have OG. Just their current form and how they have played recently. There is no chance that they are going to be even close to qualification on this RMRB I think I don't need to explain that more why 
they are going to be eliminated at this spot of the major. Next, we have a Nexus, lowest ranked team on this RMRB. I don't know what to say about them. Their recent performance, form, and map pool all gives me the reason why they should be eliminated at this spot of the uh, major. So they are going to be airport. Next, we have a mouse. They played well on IEM Katowice. Most of the time, with players like Jimpa, Torsti, Kjerson. Uh, if they perform well, there is easy to say that they're going to be qualified. Of course, they play sometimes quite like tight matches with the worst enemies, but they're good at closing those tight games. And that's why I'm gonna say they're going to be directly qualified for the major. And last, Monte, Sam Dayang is not particip participating uh, on this RMRB because of the illness. And with that, I think SDI is most important player on that lineup. So it's quite sad for Monte because actually myself, I really like them when they're playing. They're like pain in the you know where. So that's sad, but I just don't see them to be qualified for the major this time. Yeah, that's all. All teams. Hopefully we get again a great week of Counter-Strike and we have tight matches and I think there are going to be some dis big disappointment on uh, teams uh, like a big names and teams. But this is my predictions for RMR, uh, Europe RMRB and I'm going to do same with the NA RMR but I'm not going to do Asia because I just don't watch enough of like that region of Counter Strike. So we will see next time on our NA RMR predictions. So see you then.